Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting ring to episode 8 of season 3 of You Can Yuna as a Hero. So it's gonna get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Oh, well, that doesn't sound good. We only got two left. I don't like the way that she's speaking like this because something tells me. Oh. Something just tells me Wakaba is just going to be the sole survivor of this. And I hate to say that, but because Wakaba, like, okay, yeah, Wakaba's story with her group of friends is literally the most saddest thing. I mean, you know, besides Washi, like, oh God, that story. <laughs> Chapter Washi is sad. But this story, and, and we're not even done with this yet. Walk of a story is so freaking tragic. And I feel like the light novel of it must be like even horrible because it's just the way Yuna is talking, it just seems like Yuna is, is going to die by the end of this episode. And it's just going to be Wakaba. Wakaba is going to be our sole survivor out of this group of five girls. Not counting what's her face because, of course, she she's technically part of the group, but she doesn't fight. But looking at our core five and out of the five, three are dead and there's only two left. <laughs> I'm just scared. I was scared last week and I'm scared this week. Oh God, she's 
already losing blood. Uh, we only five minutes in and I'm already just, mm, it's too much. She's bleeding even out of her eyes. I'm not going to cry. Mm-mm, 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 mm-mm. 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 Mm-m
is the last, but she has. Oh my god. This hurts! So we all just know right now that this unit right here, she's just freaking OP and that's it. I mean, oh my god. This child. Stay with her, please. So now the biggest thing is, hold up, now that she's lost everybody, is she going to become cold and distant to people? You would put it <laughs> fucking eye catch right there. I said, ain't it?
Maybe. Oh, baby. No, I think you're currently dreaming right now. Well, of course, because things like that always happen in a dream. <laughs> Wait, okay, so hold on. What do you mean curse? Like curse to die? Because, yeah, exactly. When she saved Togo, so no matter what, she's going to die because of this curse. I mean, technically you are. Interacting like this, oh my god, it's so cute. Good question.
Because she knows that she's not going to survive. Okay, which is exactly what Huh? So now are these girls going to meet you uh Eunice team? I mean, because it would make sense now. Because then in the end, she'll see what's her face again. <sighs> okay. Like, oh, God, this is a lot today. <sighs> Having Yuna die. And knowing that Wakaba is the sole survivor of the group, and who knows how, like, Wakaba, you know, was like for the rest of her lives and such, because I'm something tells me that as of coming back to the present day, Wakaba is dead. She got to live out a life, you know, being happy, even though at the same time she was alone and she didn't have her friends around her, but I think she became. Maybe cold and distant, unless they want, unless there's something else secretly, you know, in the other pages. But, you know, after that last page that, you know, um, was read, of course, there was nothing else. But something kind of tells me maybe she did become cold and distant towards new people because of the fact that she didn't want to lose anyone. I mean, she's lost people who she's really, truly cared about oh so much and you feel for her. But this is a tale, this was a tale of a tragic hero and dealing with loss and tragedy and death because of course in any other story in the Yuki Yuna, <laughs> Yuki Yuna universe is you know always cute and adorable in the beginning and then by the time we get to the end it's just sad and pure darkness and despair and depressing and whatever is going to happen to our Yuna with her curse and the fact is that, you know, everybody has been waiting 300 years. She's going to be the ultimate sacrifice. We, this series might end up ending with Yuki Yuna dying and just staying dead. Not, not like any magical BS thing where it's like, oh, hey, let's bring her back. Like, she is going to possibly die and stay dead and there will be no way of bringing her back. It was interesting still both to see both Yunas talk to each other because of the fact is even with the fact is like Unity talking about oh hey the divine tree saved my soul. So then it makes you wonder did the divine tree save every girl's soul who died? Like is that the reason like Jin was there for a couple episodes ago when she was talking to Washi and such? And if it is then why hasn't any of the other girls who's died in Wakaba's team visited Wakaba that could have happened and we possibly couldn't have seen it because of the fact is there's still because it feels like there's still a lot of unanswered questions with Wakaba's story um because it just ends abruptly in, in my opinion the fire comes and, and that was the distraction and then that's it we don't really get to see anything else but of course because of the fact is you know <laughs> that's <laughs> this light novel is only in Japanese and it hasn't been translated of course I will probably never get those questions answered that I want to know because I feel like there is still something else there and we're only on episode 8 and we are very close to the end of this series I think we only got like probably maybe four or five more weeks with this show before it's done so it, it's still you know depending on how this is going to end in the next few weeks are we going to possibly get another season where we're possibly focusing on another group and stuff to see like however truly this ends but it still leaves 
a lot of unanswered questions like still is our lovable adorable yuki yuna gonna die i mean how is it gonna be next week with um cutting and uh what's her face meeting each other for the first time since their situation where we got that backstory and how how is everybody gonna work together because Sometimes, you know, you can't have other people work with other people because you never know what the fuck is going to happen. Sometimes certain energies and ish can't, you know, balance slash clash with each other because, you know, not everybody works good together. I'm just saying, but of course we ain't going to know until next Friday. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episode eight of Yuki Yuna is a hero season three. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially all next Friday for episode nine. Bye, guys.